In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sigma XL's power and sample size calculator for both a one proportion and a two proportion test. Um, now, for uh, this calculation, you need to click on the Statistical Tools button. And now scroll down to Power and Sample Size Calculators. And we'll start with the one proportion test calculator. Now, for this example, we'll select Solve for Power uh, 1 minus Beta. Uh, for your sample size, enter a value of 300. For your alternative proportion, enter a value of 0.6. Uh, for your hypothesized proportion, enter 0 0.5. And for your significance level, or your alpha level, enter 0 0.05. And set your alternative hypothesis to not equal to. And click OK. And you'll see that the power and sample size report is shown. And we can see what, that um, with the power value of 0 0.94, uh, that is acceptable. But note that the sample size of 300 and the difference in proportion value is 0 0.1 or 10%. Uh, the sample size requirements for discrete data are much higher than those for continuous data. Now, to determine power and sample size using a worksheet, you can click on uh, Statistical Tools. Uh, go down to Power and Sample Size with Worksheets, and you would select One Proportions Test, and a graph showing the relationship between power, sample size, and proportion value can be created by clicking on Statistical Tools and going down to Power and Sample Size Chart. Now, to uh, use the Power and Sample Size calculator for a Two Proportions Test, it's pretty much the same process. Click on Statistical Tools, Go down to uh, Power and Sample Size Calculators, but this time select the Two Proportion Test Calculator. Now for uh, this example, uh, we're going to enter the same values as before. We're going to have Power 1 minus Beta selected. Uh, set a sample size of 300. A Proportion 1 value of 0.6. Um, your uh, Proportion 2 value of 0 0.5. And a Significance or Alpha level of 0 0.05 an alternative level, or rather an alternative of not equal to, and click OK. And you'll see that uh, the power and sample size results for a true proportions test are shown. And this time we can see that the power value of 0 0.69 is unacceptable. Uh, note that this value is much less than the power for the one proportion test that was just performed. Now to compensate, we will double the sample size per group. So press F3 or press the recall button to bring back the uh, two proportions test calculator. And as I mentioned this time, we're going to change our sample size from 300 to 600. Go ahead and click OK. And we can see now that with our sample size doubled to 600, uh, the power value of 0 0.94 is much greater than the power value of 0 0.69 we obtained with a sample size of 300.